the Ethnic Heritage Ensemble.
Thank you. 
Thank you.
Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. So that's on our new uh, recording on uh, Spirit Muse Records, uh, label out of London, and um, um, you know just how real it is. So <clears throat> in October, I was teaching in um, Copenhagen, Denmark, um, and uh, so I got a call from the great writer, uh, Tony Award-winning. <clears throat> Obie Award winning, uh, she won the Peabody last year, <clears throat> uh, one of America's greatest writing awards, uh, Miss Intazaki Shange, right? Mm. So we've been, you know, friends since the early 70s. So I had been teaching all day, so I got back at the hotel around 11, I got in bed, it was midnight. So, you know, Zaki called, hey, Kyle. I said, hey, baby, what's up? <laughs> I, I'm so excited. I said, well, what are you excited about? <gasps> Colored Girls is going back to Broadway oh, yeah. after 38 years. And I was like, wow, Zaki, I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to hang in there, Kyle. That's the main thing. It doesn't matter what's going on. You never give up. And I said, I hear you, baby. But in terms of giving up, it's like 12 at night, girl. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to let you go. <laughs> you know, because I'm kind of tired, you know. And she said, okay, okay, but I just want to share with all my friends this good news. And so I said, I'm so proud of you, Zaki. So David Murray, who at one time was married to Tazaki Shange, he called at 9 a.m. I had talked to her at 12, right? Zaki passed. Oh, no. mm. You did? Whoa. You never give up. I'm so excited. That's what I got. Yeah. And, you know, less than eight hours later, wow. she was gone. Wow. And if that wasn't for me a sign of you never give up, you just keep going. And hopefully, colored girls, we don't know what's going to happen now legally because she passed, but hopefully, colored girls will, you know, go back to Broadway. But. Man, I mean, October was intense. I um, I came to the Ola Tunji Cultural Arts Center uh, to study with Tunji and Chief Bay in 1969. There was a cat from Puerto Rico that was also there. Jerry Gonzalez for the Apache Band. So we had met way early in our lives. Um, person that I always spoke to about culture and history and the connection of the music was Randy Weston, who passed in 92, uh, always talked about fashion and dance with Cecil Taylor, you know, 85, um, and then to lose someone, a little brother, you know, come to the crib, try to help him with his health and stuff, uh, but he hadn't turned 50 yet, you know, Roy Hargrove was a trumpet genius. Mm. Um, mentor uh, to Corey, um, but it just makes you realize how precious um, freedom of speech is, creative invention through thought, and the ability to develop a constituency, an audience, a community, you know, um, what Tom has been doing all these years and doing these events over and over again and gathering community and speaking to um, an alternative direction than the mediocrity of commercial consumerism, which is just, is inundated all, you know. Imagine three or four, maybe 10 years from now, you're at the airport, they've overcharged you for your baggage about $800 and took it off your card immediately because, you know, you stick it in, you know, when you get your ticket and all that. So in 10 years, there won't be any human beings that you're talking to in terms mm -hmm. of service. It will be a robot. Mm -hmm. And you'll say, well, $850 has been taken off my cart, and I'm really upset. Well, the robot doesn't have any emotions. And if you get too loud, the robot's going to say, you're getting too loud, sir. <laughs> and 20 minutes later, they're going to take you away because we are without the right to boycott. 
we're without the right to have alternative voice to what sets precedent of rule that we are intimidated to follow to a degree that we never were like this before that we're calling, um, uh, what do you call it, um, political correctness. We have to think about this. The automation is coming so that producers and distributors can completely control how we consume. And we're not, we're not really thinking about it. We're not really talking to our kids. We're not doing enough events like this, even if it's not music, looking at paintings, hanging out, talking to each other. We got to connect now, y'all, across race, culture, age, and all that, because Big Brother, excuse my language, is a motherfucker. <laughs> and it's here, like deep, deep, deep. And so let's just work. Let's try to do whatever we can to express ourselves and kind of make it um, a gift of courage to be about what we want to be about. You know, we thank you for the night. We're gonna do another piece for you. Uh, thank you, Tom, for having us. Tom, yeah, yeah, yeah Tom. Let's not let these robots get us, y'all. Yeah. No. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.